Well, my secondary monitor is dead. The 19-inch Samsung 940BF that I've been using for just under 10 years finally kicked the bucket. Basically, it got to the point where you had to uh, warm up the monitor before it would actually work. Now, this is something that I've seen before, sadly, because the silver bullet went through exactly this type of situation back when that computer died not long out well a year, couple of years after I built it it was like an old carburetor car you remember the old though well you have to be pretty old at least my age to remember carburetor cars if not more um, or maybe you mess with a few in more recent years but carburetor cars would often be what we called cold-blooded so you had the engine had to warm up in order for the car to not stall when you put it in gear well when computers start doing this with no engine that's when you know you're in trouble unfortunately. So what killed the uh, silver bullet was capacitor plague, a known manufacturing defect that was the result of industrial espionage gone wrong. Basically some companies over in Asia that manufactured um, electronic components, one of them stole an incomplete formula for the electrolytic acid and, or paste or whatever that's inside electrolytic capacitors. The net result was there was a barrage of defective capacitors going into all kinds of devices and eventually uh, killing the devices before their time. The caps would bulge and eventually burst. The Silver Bullet was built in 2002. It was dead by the end of 2005 because of capacitor plague on the uh, motherboard. And I was hoping that a Samsung SyncMaster monitor manufactured in 2006 would be uh, beyond the generation of capacitor plague and some of the folks who actually you know some of the folks who talk about capacitor plague say that it's largely an early 2000s phenomenon unfortunately no it isn't here's the power supply board for that monitor turn it sideways these little caps on these little caps on caps are bulging now these probably regulate the voltage that goes to the inverter and stuff like that. I know it's hard to see, but basically uh, the black caps are flat. Actually, yeah, that's probably the best way to do that. Let's zoom way in, hope this can focus properly. See the black caps are all flat. Unfortunately, the caps on caps are not. Now, had this not died when it did, what would have eventually happened, let's spin the board around. If this hadn't died when it did, these caps would have, these capacitors would have eventually burst and there would have been orange crap coming out of them. So, capacitor plague has taken out my secondary monitor. Fortunately, the huge filter capacitor that's part of the power supply seems to be okay. So, it's only these caps on caps that I have to replace. Now, there's folks on Amazon that are selling capacitor kits that sell a bunch of these electrolytic capacitors for you to solder onto your power board. I think uh, I'm going to compare the price on those kits with the price for these capacitors on their own. I'll just match the faradage and the voltage. So this is what, a couple hundred microfarads at 24 volts or something like that. This over here is, is, is hard to do this with a camera, 820 microfarads, 25 volts electrolytic. So uh, rather than spend a decent amount of money on um, buying a new monitor, why not fix this one and see how much longer it goes? <laughs> so, just got to remember to not put these caps in backwards when I solder the new ones in. I think I'm going to order up some caps. Let's do a soldering project. I'll transfer all of this over to the project desk, or take this over to the project table, and have something to do. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Capacitor plague on a mid-2000s monitor. Gotta love it. Multimedia J, out.